the season in style. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. GA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. The Kings last season failed to snap their league-long playoff drought. Coach Luke Walton said it's about building a culture, getting on the same page, and getting better. I truly feel right now we're a much better team. So as a coach, I'm happy with where we're at and where we're headed. Kevin, back to you. I bet they are. Thank you, DA. And a moment now to check out who the Pelicans have coming up. On Monday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Orlando Magic. Then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Chris Dapps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Redick and Ingram fill out the perimeter. Zion Williamson is out there with Steven Adams, and it's Bledsoe in at the point guard position. And for the Kings, Fox at the point with heel to his side. They're the backcourt. Whiteside is out there with Nemanja Bialica. And it's Barnes in at the three. Yeah, tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of talent, but also a lot of inexperience on each side. And, Kevin, you know what that means? It, it means we're going to see some spectacular plays, but a few that will have you scratching your head <laughs> as well. Always interesting to watch these young players develop. Now here's Ingram. Got a piece of it. Now here's Barnes. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Redick with the bucket. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Here's Fox. Banked in off the glass. What a fiery competitor. I mean, it's evident that Fox loves taking on intense coverage and converting. Bloodso looking it over. Pass to Williamson. Over Bielitsa. Out to Ingram. A three-pointer off the mark. The pass to Whiteside. It's hauled in by Adams. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. I mean, big finish by Zion. Expect him to spend a lot of time at the rim throughout his career. Here's healed. The Pelicans make their last shot. Here's Barnes. Some solid defense from Ingram. The Pelicans have gone two or three here to start out the game. And the wide-open shot from Reddick. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Reddick's got five. Ah, uh, doesn't get any better than this. Reddick's confidence is what allows him to be so dangerous off the catch. Nobody near Barnes. Hits the three-point bomb. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Now here's Ingram. Here's Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Yeah, and you feel like Williamson could do this almost any time he wants. The strength, the athleticism. I mean, it's next level. Fox kicks to Heald. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. <laughs> you ask Buddy Hill, he says he's not just a shooter, he's a maker. And boy, he's right. One, one of the great marksmen, not just in the league today, but in league history. I mean, look at the volume of threes he's attempted and his percentage. He's an elite company. Pelican shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Greg, last year, Williamson entered the NBA as one of the most well-known rookies since LeBron James. Already had millions of followers on social media. Global name recognition. He has an above-the-rim game that produces the kinds of highlights that people want to see.
And both free throws good for Williamson. So much pressure on Williamson to be a legend out of the gate. He has Hall of Fame tools, but you have to give him time to refine those. Now, here's Fox. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Bledsoe against Barnes. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Eric Bledsoe, a special kind of athlete. And three separate knee surgeries in the rear view. But still so fast, his teammates call him Ferrari. <laughs> the way he's built, a muscle car might be more accurate. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Uh, an underrated two-way player. Bledsoe wows you with his offense, but he's also made the all-defensive first team. Marvin Bagley's checked in for Barnes. And Eric Bledsoe drops them both. Greg, in 1991, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Your son going through it right now. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Listen, everyone wants to see what you've got. Uh, and also, you want to prove that you belong. And, and so because of that, though, especially in today's game, sometimes judgment comes way too quickly. And we've seen it with a lot of great young players that because they come in a lot earlier in terms of their age, it may take them an extra year or two to figure it all out. And so the teams that are most patient in allowing those kids to mature at their own level tend to be the ones that get uh, the higher rewards. It, indeed. And we see so much impatience, and it causes problems. First free throw is good. Well, look, an outstanding role player. Redick is an incredible sniper who feels comfortable shooting from just about anywhere. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Fox passes to Bialica. Shot by Heald, nobody around, sinks the triple. Oh, yeah, we've seen the evolution of Fox as a passer, and with every pass like that, it's obvious how far he's come. Ingram outside. No good. Good D by Heal to the left side wing. Fox. It's rebounded by New Orleans. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration that time. And again, no good by New Orleans. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. Here's Whiteside. No good on that one. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Yeah, and they lost the season series to this squad last time around. Maybe a little extra motivation tonight to show they've improved. How about the inventiveness from Ingram? Not to only see his open teammate, but deliver the pass as well. Three-pointer healed. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Now Bloodsoe. Shot, shot, shot. And he hammers that one down right in the face of De'Aaron Fox. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. An excellent finisher on those lob passes. If Bagley can get his hands to it, he will throw it down. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center, but with his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. Now, here's Fox. Healed kicks to Bialica. Back to Healed. Fires from deep. Another three for Sacramento. 
uh, one of the most lethal shooters in the league. All Hill needs is a little daylight, and he's set. Wadzo passes to Williamson. Ingram outside. Spring coming. Great D that time from Bagley. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Back to Whiteside. It's stolen by Adams. Now here's Reddick, the fast break opportunity. Fox with the steal. Five on three break. Bagley against Williamson. Bagley kicks to Fox. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Williamson's got five rebounds tonight. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Here's Bagley. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against New Orleans. This is what Bagley needs to keep doing. When he attacks the defense, it puts them in difficult spots. And still a ton of upside for Marvin Bagley. Talk about what you see. Well, Jay, I, I see an agile, uh, quick player off of the floor. I mean, we know he can play in the paint. I'm just interested in seeing how well he starts to stretch the game and become a three-level scorer. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Bagley's got some deep basketball roots. His grandfather won gold in 1964. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft that year. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Rashawn Holmes comes in for Hassan Whiteside. And Halliburton subbed in for Bielitsa. The Pelicans also changing it up. Hayes is checked in for Zion Williamson. Josh Hart comes in for Ingram. And Ball subbed in for J.J. Redick. New Orleans leading by three. And here's Bledsoe. Outside, Ball. And the Pelicans miss again. Sacramento's gone four or six from long range here early on. And Heald with the basket on the assist by Holmes. Heald's got 11 points. Oh, great ball movement there. Left side, ball. It's stolen by Bagley. And here we go. Goes up and finished off by Bagley. A, a solid transition player for Bagley. It's about making himself available to score in these situations. Here's ball. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Marvin Bagley picks one up. Greg, hard to think of a player in this league with more of a pass-first mentality than Lonzo Ball. I mean, total unselfishness, elite vision. Sometimes you'd like to see him penetrate a little more in the half court, but he's improving from range, and that'll open up driving lanes, and he can take advantage. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things, winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathom is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. Now here's Joseph, and the shot is good. And the Kings lead by two. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's Hart. Bagley with the block. They need that kind of defensive impact from Bagley. I mean, he's using his size and length to force opponents to be aware of him at that end of the floor. Here's Joseph. Switch, 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 switch. Pass to Halliburton. And here is Parker from the arc. It's rebounded by Hayes. Takes the three. Hart, that's good. And it's a three-point Pelican lead. A lot of shooting is confidence in there. Hart showing plenty of it with his rise and fire. New play. Yep. Stay out here. 
Ball against Joseph. Passes it to Parker. Don't let him shoot that. Here we go. Let's do it. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for the Kings. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Pelicans leading by three. To the wing right side. Melly passes to Hayes. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Melly. Pulls it up. It's hauled in by the Kings. Oh, the setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. And Joseph kicks to Holmes. Back to Joseph. Now, here is Halliburton. Defense right on him. Kaminsky. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. The dish, the ball. That one misses. And the Kings going the other way now. The pass to Halliburton. Oh, Holmes in position. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. And he lobs it up. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Joseph has an open look. The second effort, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. This is his first free throw of the game. And 79% from the line a season ago. Pretty consistent there as a free throw shooter. And he makes the first. Nah, man, you get little guys. Yeah, I got him. Hey, you can shoot. I got him. You got this guy out there. Both free throws, good from Holmes. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Pelicans trail by three. Here's Ball, and he banks in the layup. This is big for Ball's overall development. Needs to keep looking to attack and take on the D. Outside, Joseph. Ball with it. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. And he makes that one. Now, this is the mindset Ball has. If you're not going to guard him closely, he'll torch you off the pass. Sacramento's gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. Halliburton, that's good. And the Kings lead by one. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Ball feeling it out a bit. Stolen by Joseph. There's the three. Pelicans pull it in. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Got a hand on it. And despite the short wingspan for a big man, Kaminsky with the height and timing to steal block shots. New Orleans has gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Hart kicks the ball. Five on the clock. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Ball's got seven points. He has the size to be a factor inside. Ball doesn't shy away from testing his luck from there. 
And so, guys, it's Zion Williamson making things happen for the New Orleans Pelicans. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you guys think? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams, but they did it very well. Here's Parker. JP. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court right now for the Kings... They've got Halliburton, Parker out there with Harrison Barnes. Then it's Kaminsky, and it's Joseph in at the shooting guard position. He's so intelligent around the rim. Kaminsky found a way to own that possession. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Barnes against Ball. Excellent D there from Ball. Here's Hart. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Five points in the game. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. While we have the time, let's take a look at last season's best transition team. Fifth on the list, the Pelicans. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Ball, ball. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Kept alive. Oh! And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Frank Kaminsky picks one up. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA, you had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call, and, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a, a few guys, though, will so Gary Payton, I got a, to, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we, we used to go at it in high school, and, oh, and it's really about his take personality. This is Good a guy shot. that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, you know, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scottie Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years, but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. Sacramento making a switch here. Heald's checked in. The Pelicans also changing it up. Williamson is checked in for Melly. Brandon Ingram comes in for Josh Hart. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Ball. Now here's Joseph. Pass to Kaminsky. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got six rebounds in the game. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Yeah, this is where Zion is improving, taking advantage of the defensive attention he receives. And here's Joseph for three. Again, the miss by the Kings. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. They've led by as much as 10. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. They start a three-game homestand with that game. Now here's Ingram, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Williamson right side, six to shoot, from deep. Strains the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. Harrison Barnes picks one up. The Pelicans have gone nine of ten from the line, so making the most of their chances. Sacramento making some changes. Whiteside's checked in for Jabari Parker. Bialica comes in for Barnes, and it's Fox in for Joseph. One shot. Ingram, he's shown some flashes, time but now it's about being consistent. I mean, he has all the talent needed Started. to be a star in this league. 
So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Yeah, trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. And taking a look here at the numbers for Adams. Good season for him last year. Averaged about 11 points a game, nine rebounds, and two assists. Guys, he's a difference maker off the bench. Steps into that front court and more than holds his own. Well, it's his willingness to bang down low or move opponents off the block. Those are valuable contributions. And, and they continue to control the glass. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Well, Steven Adams could be the league's most physical presence. All-star Jimmy Butler said that he is just so strong. Butler says he hit me with a screen, and I thought my life was over. Adams said his strength doesn't help with flopping. The refs are like, get up. <laughs> Guys, he has a sense of What's humor up? about it, and maybe that's a counterbalance to his great physical gifts. But you're right, D.A., he is strong. Thanks for that report. And that one falls for Ingram. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. The Kings trail by 12. Outside, Fox passes it to Heald. To the left wing. Shot by Bielitsa and nobody around. Good on the triple. Bielitsa's got his first three points of the game. Now, here's Bledsoe. Pass to Williamson. Ingram deciding where to go with it. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And De'Aaron Fox, a natural right-hander, but he plays lefty. Well, he's similar to Mike Conley. Guys like that, uh, more amphibious. I'm just joking, more ambidextrous. That they, they can use either hand at a high level. Right wing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin. And, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the era I played in. But, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement. And I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling. And ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. And the first one at the line is good. We've seen Fox step up as a leader recently. He knows his teammates look to him, and he's happy to lead the charge. And the Kings making a change here. Bagley's checked in. Fox hits them both. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Fox against Bloodsoe. Here's the lob to Adams. Tipped away, but they get it back. Williamson, the pass to Bloodsoe. Shot clock at six. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Seven point differential. And there's the pass to Whiteside. Back to Fox. 
over Ingram. Whiteside trying to break free. Again, the miss by the Kings. And Adams kicks to Bledsoe. Adams dishes to Reddit. And the Pelicans miss again. Now, you don't see that very often. A wide open three is usually like a layup for him. And stolen by Williamson. Ludzo passes to Adams. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Williamson finds Adams. Back to Williamson. Here's Bledsoe. That's a big part of Fox's upside, his ability to defend with effort, aggression. He'll contest every shot in his neighborhood. Yep, it goes in, and the Pelican lead is cut to just five on the basket from Heald. New Orleans has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Ingram against Bielita to end the cold streak. Second shot opportunity, and it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got four rebounds now tonight. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Let's take a look at the players who were the best on the glass a season ago. In the third spot, Hassan Whiteside. What a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? First free throw is good. Fox hits them both. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Ludzo passes to Williamson. Yep. Right there. Right there. It's Ingram on the wing. He's covered by Bielitsa. Here's Sacramento now. They're rolling here with a nine-point run. Inside. Makes it off the glass. Bielitsa's got five points now in the quarter. And how about the fundamentals right there? I mean, Bielitsa is so skilled at keeping his balance in the face time out, time of adversity. Out. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Whiteside. And checking out some numbers here for J.J. Reddick. Last season's performance for him, second in three-point field goal percentage, and he was top 10 in free throw percentage, did not waste opportunities to convert at the line. And back to what you said, he was runner-up in the three-point accuracy category last season because no one could get him out of his rhythm. Oh! oh. And with a monster finish, he stops an 11-0 run by the Kings. Pass to Heald. He leads her with it. Up top, Holmes. Left side, Bagley. Four on the shot clock. Here's Fox. Another three for Sacramento. 
Man, a decent shooter from deep. Fox needs to keep focusing on developing this part of his game. New Orleans gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Now Bledsoe. Rebound by the Kings. Bagley's got his fifth rebound in this one. And you know what? He had to clear some space for himself to get that rebound. Not an easy one there among the big boys. And that one's good, Ingram. And he's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Trailing by two. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. And that game is the second of two straight at home. And this is Fox's role. He's the floor general for this team. And, and that includes setting his guys up. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Halliburton's checked in for the Kings. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Lonzo Ball, he's checked in for J.J. Redick. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Here's Bloodsoe. He kicks it to Adams. Dishes to Ingram. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Bledsoe against Fox. Some solid defense from Ingram. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. To the inside, ball. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on to Aaron Fox. Oh, the size and skill set of ball is unique, which is why defenders have a hard time guarding him. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Well, he's an all-around player. Lonzo's combination of size and playmaking ability at his position is truly unique. So for the Pelicans, Nicolo Melli comes in for Zion Williamson. And Hart subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. That one misses. Sacramento's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. The Pelicans trail. Here's Ball. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. And so here is New Orleans. And that one's good, Ingram. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting stronger. On offense, here are the Kings. They're on a 17-7 run. Ball against Fox. And here's Halliburton from downtown. Rebounded by Hart. Adams, the pass to Melly. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And now it's a four-point New Orleans lead. Outside, Fox passes it to Halliburton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. That's good from Halliburton. And some changes here for the Kings. Jabari Parker's checked in for Bielitsa. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Fox. Hit these babies. No. 
on, man. You get little guy. Yeah, I got him. Hey, you can shoot her. I got him. You got this guy right here? Yeah. Both shots good from the stripe. New Orleans in the lead. Kicks it to ball. Fires at the elbow. No good that time. Good D by Parker. Parker double teamed. Here's Halliburton. Here's Bagley. The shot, no good. And New Orleans will come the other way. And it's ball in the corner. Here's Hayes. It's hauled in by the Kings. Holmes got six rebounds here tonight. Lob pass to Bagley. And finished off by Bagley. This is the attitude Parker plays with. Someone who's very willing to give it up to his open guys. Ball with it. He has seven. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Hayes throws it down. And you could see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. One fifty-three left to play here in the second quarter. All right, a chance to check out some stats for Ball. He had a strong showing last season. Last season, put up about 12 points per game, seven assists and six rebounds. And he continues to hone his game. I think the potential is there. Oh, yeah. You can see the potential, but it's raw. He needs to keep refining that skill set. That's good from Halliburton. Oh, finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. And the Kings making a change here. Kaminsky's checked in. He hits both from the stripe. New Orleans gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. Second, the Pelicans. That's an effort stat for me. I mean, it shows you how hard this team works in the paint. They continue to pound the backboard. Halliburton passes to Begley. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Here's Hart. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. And he uses the glass on the layup. Parker's got his first basket. Showing he still has some athleticism. I mean, Parker, two knee injuries later, he's still fighting and driving. Outside, ball. And there's a whistle that goes on Corey Joseph. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. One shot. That free throw good from Hayes. Pass the ball. Lock at six. Stolen by Joseph. Drops in the breakaway layup. Joseph's got the lead up to three now for the Kings. 40 seconds left in the first half of the game. 20 feet out. That one off the back iron and out. Sacramento's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. And finished off by Bagley. There's always been a power aspect to Bagley's game, and every time he goes strong to the bucket, we get a taste of it. And the Pelicans miss again. Now the Kings with it. They're on a 12-3 run. 
Kaminsky dishes to Bagley. One second left. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Kings ahead, leading by five. Live from Golden One Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a big time first quarter from Buddy Heald. He had 13 points, four assists, and one rebound. What'd you think about Sacramento, Kenny? Efficiency, you know, I, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You gotta protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Pelicans. Well, they need to strike a balance between being aggressive and being too aggressive. You know, Ernie, you need to be solid defensively at the same time. Do not get pushed around. I think they're, they're giving up a lot of free throws, way too many. They need to go back to playing solid, fundamental defense and build the energy from there. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Really an incredible game from Buddy Heald. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. You talk about dialed in. Oh, man, what a tremendous first half. Okay, obviously he's feeling the flow, and he's looking to keep it going. Sacramento leading by five, checking out the group for Stan Van Gundy to start the second half. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Ludzo is out there with J.J. Redick, and it's Adams in at the center position. Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject them. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Healed, can't hit. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And the dunk by Williamson. Oh, he's the perfect alley-oop partner. Zion showing the lift. How about his hands? And then we all know how it ends. He leads with Hines heel. Shoots over Redick. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. But this is not the start they wanted coming out of the break. 0 for 3 so far. And they're not playing with much intensity. The pass to Williamson. Now Ingram. For the lead. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Williamson's got five assists tonight. And the transition D right now just non-existent it seems like every team greg needs that one enforcer that one guy who's gonna get under opponent's skin well in one poll of coaches and players adams was voted the second dirtiest player in the league one guy said he's real physical but maybe he crosses the line and throws the sneaky elbow here and there commits extra hard fouls yet adams usually escapes foul trouble barnes he's checked in for parker The Kings trail by four. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Mm, they needed that one. Maybe they'll get it going after four straight misses to start the half. Bloodsoe outside. Here's Ingram. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Yeah, Whiteside won't allow that. You have to work way harder to outplay a blocker of his talent. Down three, down three. 
Bialica passes to Heald. Outside, Fox. Hits it from three-point range. Fox has got 12 in the game. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Here's Ingram. And again, no good by New Orleans. Can't get anything to fall, but it hasn't gotten him down. I mean, he's still gunning. Uh, I guess he's still trying to contribute. And a bounce back season for Whiteside. Got the minutes he wanted with Portland and showed he could still be an impact player. Yeah, G.A., he showed he's still a monster when it comes to blocks and rebounds. This year would be the most telling with Whiteside. He got a new deal. I want to see if he keeps pushing himself or reverts to lazy play. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Yeah, and that's what you like about Whiteside. I mean, the rim protection, the rebounding, the intimidation factor. I mean, still developing as an offensive player, making strides, but not there yet. Knock this Come in. Hey, when it comes off, grab it, baby. Hey, man, you want this guy? Yo, I'm Who's gonna shoot huh? And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Oh, right here. Redick, a good look. And too long on the shot. And it's Fox with the ball for the Kings. They lead by one. Three-pointer healed. That will fall for his seventh bucket, seven for 15 in this game. Adding to his three-point total on the night. He had three in the first half. Now he's got his first one here in the second. Bledsoe kicks to Adams. He dishes it to Ingram. And the Pelicans miss again. He's been cold, and it's been hurting him. The D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. Hey, yo. Barnes looking around. The putback. It's hauled in by Adams. Pelicans trail by four. Bloodsoe outside. Down low. Here's Ingram. And they get it. And at last, they get one to fall. Sacramento's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Bloodsoe against Fox. Barnes outside. Six to shoot. Rejected by Ingram. A seven foot three wingspan. Ingram's reach makes him a defensive factor. Good on the bucket. Ingram's got 16 points. And, well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Healed with the bucket. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Ingram outside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. They get Hassan Whiteside. Ingram is so rangy. Hard to affect his shot without fouling. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. First one falls for him. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Sacramento. And so he hits both. Sacramento's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Fox is double. I'm up, I'm up. Healed against Reddick. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Floats it up for Williamson. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Well, it's been this way all night. Williamson can beat you in so many different ways. Timeout called by the Kings. Zion Williamson with a strong contribution so far, guys, in this one. 
And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. Sacramento making a switch here. Bagley's checked in. And here's a look at some numbers for Williamson. Last season, he played outstanding. He put up about 22 points a game, six rebounds, and two assists. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah, it, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work off of him to look to create for others. Pass to Ingram. Williamson outside. Williamson double team to the paint. And Adams with the slam. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Ludzo against Fox. Over Williamson. Offensive rebound. Here's Holmes. Tough possession there. They stayed with it, but they just couldn't make it. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Here's Adams. And Adams with the slam. They have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. Poked away. Barnes kicks to Fox. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Halliburton's checked in for Fox. The Pelicans also changing it up. Hayes comes in for Steven Adams. And it's Lonzo Ball in for J.J. Redick. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Bagley against Williamson. Here's Holmes, and Holmes throws it down. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. Second chance opportunity so big in this instance. They have to feel fortunate that they could extend that play. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed it, he's been their safety valve. Now, here is Halliburton. Guarded by Bloodsoe. Pelicans leading by three. Here's Williamson. The rebound by Halliburton. Sacramento's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Barnes outside. Shot clock at six. Holmes down low. He's covered by Ingram. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Hit these, baby. Nah, man, you get little guy. Yeah, I got him. Hey, you can shoot it. I got him. You got this guy right here? Yeah. And the first one drops. Corey Joseph's checked in for the Kings. Hard, he's checked in for New Orleans. We got shooter, huh? 
All free throws good from Holmes. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Hart. Five points in the game. Ludzo finds Williamson. Another miss by Williamson. And for Sacramento, they're shooting, not looking uh, too good out there in the second half, right around 32%. The Pelican shooting 43% for the game. The shot by Bloodsoe, nobody around. And again, no good by New Orleans. Here's Joseph. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And here's the fast break, Paul leading the way. And up the court come the Kings on the break. Joseph leading the charge. No question, he got bumped on that shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. Shooting two. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. New Orleans has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Hayes trying to break free. Rebounded by Holmes. Holmes got 11 rebounds in the game. Stripped away. And now the Pelicans on the break. Here's Hart. He can't get that one. And the Kings going the other way now. And now Sacramento on the break. Bangley with a wide open look. Drops in the tray off the fast break. This is what the coaching staff wants from Bagley, for him to be confident and to take these shots. Here's Hart. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First trip to the line for him here. The first one falls. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Some changes for Sacramento. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Jabari Parker comes in for Barnes. And it's Fox in for Corey Joseph. Both good from the line that time. And we all know that Hart plays superb defense. Now, the next step is becoming a more consistent offensive player. Now, here is Halliburton. He has six. Bagley. No good on that one. The Pelicans trail. Here's Hart. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Hart's got his third basket of the night right there. Sacramento's gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting. Here's Halliburton. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Hart. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on to Aaron Fox. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he knocks down the first one. The Pelicans making a switch here. Bloodsoe's checked in.
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Halliburton passes to Kaminsky. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Kaminsky's got seven. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Passes to Melly. Now ball. Pass to Melly. Let's it go with a three. That falls. Nice feed that time from ball. He's got five. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. <laughs> yeah, man. So talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. What a game he's having on the boards. Even their big fellas can't keep him off the glass. No good from Bloodsoe. The Kings trailing. And now the fast break. Fox with the ball. Out to the right wing. Fox is double. Bagley inside the line. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Bloodsoe's got his fourth rebound in this one. They get the rebound. Bagley, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Oh, man, an awful display from him so far. But, but you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. No shot! Ball against Fox. Count the basket. And the Pelicans lead by four. Working on becoming a more potent offensive player. Ball, great to see him convert from right there. Fox uses the glass to finish the layup. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Blood show outside. Back to ball. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. There's the triple. Sacramento grabs the miss. Halliburton's got four rebounds now tonight. Give me that. Fox dishes to Kaminsky, and it's good, two points. Kaminsky's got nine points. Now look, guys try to get physical with Kaminsky, but he has the body control and focus to finish through the contact. From deep, no good there. Buddy Heald has been leading the charge for Sacramento, and he continues to torment them from three-point range. A total of five threes for him in the game now. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Makes it a tough play to defend because you also have to guard against him taking it himself. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Fox at the point with Heal to his side. They're the backcourt. Bielitsa is out there with Parker, and it's Kaminsky in at the five down low. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. And Reddick kicks to Bloodsoe. Six on the shot clock. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And it's Melly missing. Outside, Fox. Another miss by Fox. And here's Reddick. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. The pass to Melly. The three connects from three-point range. Melly's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for New Orleans. Pass to Heald. Now, here's Fox. And it's Kaminsky, top of the key. Here's Parker. And the dunk by Parker. And, and reading shot trajectories is a skill, a skill that Parker has worked on over the years. New Orleans has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Passes it to Hayes. And the call is going to be, yes, yes, it is, an illegal screen. It's really been a tale of two halves, hasn't it, guys? Uh, as far as taking care of the basketball, immaculate at halftime, but he's had too many miscues here in the second half. And the Kings making a change here. Whiteside's checked in. The Pelicans also changing it up. Adams comes in for Hayes. And it's Ingram in for ball. Again, the miss by the Kings. 
Uh, even though he's going ice cold, he keeps shooting. I mean, it's late enough in the game for him to recognize uh, <laughs> and there's some better options. And boy, their offense becomes all the more efficient when Bledsoe is knocking those down. And it just opens up the passing lanes for him as well. Healed from outside, sinks the three-pointer. Heald's got 26. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Bledsoe outside, trying to find Heald and gets it to him. Parker outside. The dish now to Fox. Fox is double. Here's Whiteside. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. For New Orleans, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Ingram. And the Pelicans get it back. Sacramento's gone one of two from three-point range here in the fourth. Whiteside. Redick with the rebound. New Orleans has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. It's good. Bledsoe's got five points now in the quarter. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Fox deciding where to go with it. Ingram with the steal. Jumps up and slam dunk by Ingram. Ingram's length and activity paying off. Great transition defense to offense. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Ah, fourth foul of the game for him. He's starting to get into that danger zone. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Jabari Parker. And the Pelicans also making a change. Williamson's checked in. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Fox, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Such a tricky cover inside. When Fox attacks like this, the defense responds with that same type of aggression. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Hit these, baby. Nah, man, you get little guy. Yeah, I got him. Hey, you can shoot. I got him. You got this guy right here? Yeah, I got big man. No good on that one. I got mine. You got shooter, huh? Hey, let me get big man. Hey, when it comes off, grab her, baby. Hey, just box. And he sinks the second. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Ludzo passes to Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. Nice concentration from the slithery swing man. Ingram looking very confident when he scores like this. Now Fox. That's a two from Barnes. Again, the miss by the Kings. His touch has been off tonight, and, and, and now his judgment is off, too. I mean, come on. It's not a smart shot. Baseline try. No good from Bledsoe. The Kings trail by six. Here's the three. Another shot. And Whiteside finishes it off. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. Here's Bledsoe. And it's Fox with the rebound. Fox has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And then healed with the dunk. Now that's team basketball, Bielitsa, doing a nice job getting the ball to the open man. New Orleans has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight, seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. As to Williamson. Fox against Bloodsoe. And here is Heald to the middle. It's Bialica. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Okay, they came close there to tying it up. That was a really important. Wow, hammering it in. Oh. Wow. This is what many fans came here to see. Williamson at his size with his speed. So unique in his style, his grace. It's unbelievable. 
Fox against Bledsoe. Barnes can't get it to go. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Now, he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. Good, good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Healed with it. Now guarded by Reddick. Sacramento again missing. Pelicans leading by four. Good D by Barnes. And now the fast break. Fox with the ball. Three-pointer heel. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his eighth assist in the game. Bloodsoul outside. Adams shot is off. And here's Whiteside. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. When, when Bielisa is trying to score, it sometimes forces the D's hand. Nice initiative from the Yugoslavian forward right there. Shooting two. Knock this Come on. in. Hey, when it comes off, grab her, baby. Hey, man, you want this guy? Yo, I'm Who's gonna shoot her, huh? That one drops. He ties it up. A versatile player. Bielitsa mainly excels at spacing the floor. He's a big man with range. He'll do whatever you ask of him. Hit these, baby. Nah, man, you get little guy. Yeah, I got him. Hey, you can shoot her. I got him. You got this guy down here? He makes one of two that time. And the chance to take the lead gets away because of the miss. Good work there as it goes. A, -a, -a guy you want to run the offense through. Zion showing he can make plays for others, not just himself. Bloodsoe against Fox. The Pelicans have gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth, right around 46, 47 percent. No good from Bloodsoe. Gets the look he wants and still no luck. Tough night for him. And even though he lacks the size of some of the other bigs, that extra effort has allowed him to do some serious work here on the boards. First free throw is good. Cold free throws, good for Ingram. And it's the Kings with the ball. Four point game. There's the pass to Whiteside. And Adams sends it back. They get it back. Healed outside. Again, the miss by the Kings. New Orleans leading by four. Wide open look. And Reddick the bucket on the assist from Williamson. Williamson's got nine assists now tonight. Pass to Barnes. On the wing, heel. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Amongst the best hitting the offensive glass, Whiteside can pile up those second chance points. Get through, get through, get through. Bloods are with it. Here's Reddick, and it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And every miss finds its way to his hands. What an impressive performance. It's more than just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and aggressive. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. 
Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. Bloodsoe outside. Trying to break that ice cold streak, and it's good on the way in. Bloodsoe's got seven points here in this quarter. And the seasoned veteran, Bledsoe, not afraid to take matters into his own hands and take a big-time shot. That's it, and the Pelican lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Fox. New Orleans has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Floats it up for Williamson. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Well, watching him in college, Zion showed he was a big game, big moment player. That's a huge bucket right there. Here's Fox. Misses off the right iron. Now, look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Here's healed. The offensive rebound. The shot, no good. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Williamson, the pass to Bloodsoe. Now Adams. He's covered by Whiteside. Lock at six. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. Here's Adams, and it's blocked by Whiteside. And a bit of a battle jump here for the ball. ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And here are the Pelicans now. Ingram with it. Guarded now by Barnes. And that one's time good, out, Ingram. Out. This is a player who can make the easy shots and the tough ones. I mean, and trust me, that was a tough one for Ingram, even from that range. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're down by eight. 132 left in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Zion Williamson. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Luke Walton was saying to the team. Not happy with the way this game is going. He said you're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, we're doing some good things, but outside, we're a disaster. Tighten it up. Devin will see if they can close out on their shooters a little more effectively. Three-pointer heel. And the ball goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Bielitsa. One oh four left in the fourth quarter. Pelicans leading by eight. Outside, Reddick passes it to Adams. Healed against Reddick. Shot clock at six. Ingram outside over Barnes. Good D by Barnes. They know they can't give him that shot. The D's are over it. Not even giving him an inch of space. Here's New Orleans. They're on a 14-6 run. Kicks it out to Williamson. Williamson double teamed. Bloodsoe against Bielitsa. And the dunk by Williamson. 
and they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, there's no doubt as to who was the better team. I mean, they, they proved it with this win. Here's Reddick. So we see New Orleans taking the W here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. See you later.